today we are learning about gastrointestinal reflexes so there are three types of reflexes which operate the gi system that is short reflex also called mind reflexes long reflex and the brain or spinal cord which is where central reflex takes place so first uh, any change in the chemical composition and osmolarity of the GI contents activates the receptors which are present that is chemoreceptors, osmoreceptors and mechanoreceptors. First we will see short reflex. So it operates within the enteric nervous system. It is sensitive to chemicals or stretch of the GI wall. So these receptors are present in mucosal wall. Stimulation of these re uh, receptors mediate a local reflex which is in which involves mind reflexes and intestinal smooth muscles or glands. So this example for this is enterogastric reflex. Next we'll see long reflex. These carry signals in for long distances in the GI system. This reflex usually travels from GIT to the prevertebral sympathetic ganglion and back so this example is gastrocolic reflex in which signals from the stomach cause evacuation of the colon so next is central reflex uh, also called the also have long reflex arcs so it involves mainly brain and spinal cord as this as its center so the best example for this is defecation reflex which travels from colon and rectum to the spinal cord and back so this causes very powerful contractions of colon rectum and abdominal muscles which is necessary for the act of defecation so yeah this is the gastrointestinal reflexes